Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to build a very simple app with Streamlit and then Pygy Walker, right? That is Pick Walker. So as you already saw earlier on, Pick Walker is a very nice library that is very useful in case you want to visualize your data using the feel like Tableau, right? Drag and drop. So we're trying to see how to combine Pick Walker with the almighty and a very nice framework called Streamlit. So let's see what to be building. So this is what to be building, which is a very simple app in which I can just drag and drop a file. So let me pick this one here. And if I click on submit, I'm going to explore this data, right? So this is any form of data. So if I drag, the, drag and drop the data here, click on submit, I can see the data that was uploaded, which is this one, which is a very nice interface, right? Combining the two of the frameworks, very nice. And you can see it automatically gives you the type of data, which is a quantitative, ordinal, nominal, and the rest. And if I go to the visualization, I can now start visualizing, right? So which is very easy. I can see all the quantitative ones here. So I can drag it to my X axis, and then let's pick something like occupation. You can see that that's given us this wonderful plot here, right? Out of the box using Streamlit and then Big Walker. I can also say add the race as a color. You can see the race as color here, which is very cool. I can also filter them, right? All of this is coming out of the box using Streamlit and then Pick Walker. And I can also export this entire stuff. I can save the image here, or I can come back here and then export that particular image here. Very cool. I can also change the plots to a different format. So let's go with area charts. You can see this one here. And then I can also come back to scatter plots. Very nice, right? So this is a very nice feature that makes your work quite easy. So let's see how to build this wonderful app from scratch. So I just go back again to my workspace. Right, so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to create a directory called ST Streamlit. Uh, let's call this ST Worker, right? <laughs> yeah, and then I'll move into ST Worker. So let's create a virtual environment. So virtual EMV, VNV. Then perfect inside VNV. I'm going to activate it to source VNV bin activate. Then let's install the package we need. So we pip install Streamlit. And we also need to install pandas and then pg worker or pick worker, right? And so that we need, right? So we need streamlights, we need pandas to read our data, and we need pg worker. You can also use Polaris, right? Or Polaris if you want. Perfect. So once it is finishing, I'm going to open it and then we start designing our wonderful app. This one here, yeah, right? So let me stop this one. So I'll stop this one while it's finished. So let's stop the old one. I'll close this one off. Right, and I'll come back here. So if I come back here, there's nothing here. So I'm going to create my first file, which is app.py. Then I'll use VS Code to open this app.py file, which is my app here. Then let's make it bigger. Perfect. So let's start with it. We already have Streamlit already installed. So I'll just go back again. And then I'm going to import Streamlit as ST. Then we also need to import Streamlit component to help us with our application. So Streamlit dot component dot v1. Then I'm going to let's import it as STC. I prefer to call it STC. You can also call it as component. Then I'm also going to import pandas. PD and then we also need to import my PG worker, right? Pick worker. So let's pick yeah, as W G right P as pick. You can know where my keyboard is. <laughs> okay, so let's start with it. So first of all, I'm just going to create our main as we always do. Yeah, so sd.title, this is going to be our streamlit pick worker app. So pick pg worker, pick worker app. Perfect. And now let's start writing some stuff. So I'll just do my menu. We have just two menu. We have our home and then we have our about. 
then we'll specify our choices you can also use the pages option but i prefer this option so if st dot let's specify the choice so, so st dot sidebar dot select box then i'm going to pass in my menu here so that i have my menu and then i'm going to say that if the choice you can also use switch right in case you are working in a newer version of python if my choice is this i want to go with this option so let's go sub header home oh, right else we want to go with the about these are busy stuff perfect now that is all that we need so we need to close it with our if main so if underscore underscore name is go to main underscore underscore main so i can run into like a script i want to run my main app perfect let's start with it so i'm just going to go back again and create my form so i'll just create my form st dot so with st dot form right, but before we create the form let's make sure that our app is working so i'll just go back to my terminal hopefully it is there that, that's activating my virtual environment here and now i can just go with my streamlet let's check the version so the version of streamlet we are using now is 1.24 which is with very nice features and I can now just go run app.py it's running perfectly for us right very cool so that is our app already working very nice so I can position it beside it perfect right so our app is working as you can see now let's create our form so this is going to be with sd.form let's give it a name so the name of the form we can give it as a key or we can just give it the name like this so I can call it as my form yeah can be any name or we can call it as upload form and then I can specify my data so so the data file so data file the data file that I want to load right the one that I want to actually open when I click on this it's going to be my SD dot file uploader which will take in some description to so upload a CSV file and this is going to take in the particular type of support so I only for now I only support CSV and let's also support TST because sometimes yeah for now yeah. and now let's create our submitted button so sd.form submit button which I can now say okay submit or analyze right then you can say that if submitted right if there is some data I want to now start analyzing our data so let's create a function to load our data set load data function it's going to be df.load so that we can apply cache into it in the future it takes in the data and then it's going to return my pd.read underscore csv then i pass in my data right we can cache it later perfect now so if the person submitted i want to return my data frame which is going to be my load data passing the data file and then we are done right okay let's apply pick worker to it so we want to visualize visualize right so first of all we can actually see this data using the normal way st dot data frame df if i go back here let's always rerun we have my file upload here i can upload my file and if i go with my submit button you can see that we have our data set here right which is very cool right Perfect. Now we can now visualize this using pick worker by going with my pick dot walk. 
Then I'll pass in my data frame. As you can see, you can pass in a data frame. So which is going to be the data frame that I have. Then I also need to pass in some parameters, right? So the parameters I want to pick or put in are, I want to convert the entire data frame into HTML. So return HTML is equal to true. Then I'm going to save this one into a format that I can read. So this is converting the entire thing that is coming into HTML and then I can render with Streamlit. So STC, render with component. Right, so this is HTC dot HTML. Then I can now pass in my data, right? So what I'm passing in is my pick HTML file. That is it. You can also specify some configuration. So scrolling is going to be true. And then I also want to specify the height. It's going to be, let's say, 1000. Now, once I save it now, we have it here. Everything is working. If I click on it, so we have my data frame here. And if I scroll down, let me make it bigger. You can see that we automatically have our pick water visualization here, right? The one that we saw earlier on in this, right? Perfect. But if you see from here, it's bigger than as you are seeing from here. So how do we make it bigger, right? And you can see everything works as expected. I can scroll down, up and down, but I want to make it quite big, not like this. So how do I fix it, right? So that is where we can just go back again and to the top of our file, we will load our configuration. So this is going to be our page configuration which in our case is going to be my sd.setPageConf. And the setPageConf takes in the page title. So in case I want to modify this streamlet, I'll use the set page app. So which is in this case, it's going to be the page title, page icon. So let's give it as, let's say, stworker <laughs> app, right? And then I can also specify the layout which is what is going to do the magic. So we have centered and white by default it is centered, but we want to make it as wide. So let's set it as wide. And once I do that, it's going to change it to a wide one. And if I go back here, you can see that we have my very wide format and you're going to see this one in a better format, right? Now this is better, right? As you can see, it is quite nice. So I can now plot it straight away. I can put in, let's say, let's put in the row count here, drag it here, which is very cool. And I can also put in the number of hours, right? And I can also add, let's say, sex. And I can put in the color. You can see we have our plot here in a very nice format. We can export it as PNG, SVG. You can also change the plot to a different one. So go back here continue to area chat out of the box, which is not nice. <laughs> Let's drag it back. Right, yeah. So you can do a lot of things with it, right? So that is how to use Pig Walker with Streamlit. You can continue adding more data to it and doing different plots as you wish, right? So you can also add different plots. Yeah, so you can do a lot with it, right? Very cool. So thank you for watching. So to recap, we have seen how to integrate Streamlit with PG Walker out of the bus. All you need to do is this. You have to install Streamlit and then PG Walker. And then after installing it, you just have to like create a download option. We created a download option here in which we uh, not download file upload option. We upload a file upon submission. We read the data set. We see it as data frame. And then we can now visualize with pig walk, right? We first convert it to HTML, then we render it with Streamlit component. Very simple, very cool. So thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can put it in the comment section below. And see you another time. And check the links below for more. See you.